Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm so excited for today's Get Ready With Me. I'm going to be showing you how I transform all this into some fabulosity for the Curly Diaries High Tea. So stay tuned. So first I started off with a tea tree skin clearing clay mask from the body shop. I love this mask because it helps me deal with all my blemishes and dark spots. I just applied that all over my face. I then had a shower, washed my mask off and I was feeling very refreshed. So I started with the Max Prep and Prime Fix Plus and then moved on to my foundation which is the Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. And I love this foundation. I just use a little bit and it goes a long way. I uh, spread it all over my face and then blend it out. The trick with foundation is to make sure there's no harsh lines. So blend, ladies, blend. I then set my foundation with the Suede Effect Pressed Powder by Sleek and I love this powder. I swear by this powder for oil control and it keeps me matte all day. I then move on to the eyebrows, which I love doing. Uh, and I'm just using a Rimmel brow pencil in black brown and filling in my eyebrows for a more fuller look. Don't worry ladies if they're not that straight or that perfect. I'll show you exactly how to deal with that in a bit. I then used one of my favorite concealers which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit and I just used the concealer that's slightly lighter than my skin to line out or draw out the bottom of my eyebrows. So basically what this does, it gives me the effect of freshly done eyebrows even when I've not been to the beautician in a long time. So definitely a great way to keep them brows looking fresh. The concealer is also going to act as a base for our eyeshadow, which we're putting on now. And it's just a pink eyeshadow I used from a random palette, but you can use any pink eyeshadow that you would like. It's more of a fuchsia tone. I'm depositing that right in the center of my eyelid, and that's going to give me a little bit of pop, a little bit of color, and it's just going to make the eyes pop a little bit more. So the other thing I'm doing is just defining my crease a bit more and just the outer edges of my eyelids using this dark shade from the sleek contour kit I love 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 this shade it's a beautiful brown I use the same shade to contour my cheeks and my jawline and forehead I then use the highlighter shade in the same palette and put that in the inner tear duct of my eyelid. Basically this brightens up my eye look and then now I'm just blending just to make sure that all the colors look like they flow into each other. You also want to define the crease a little bit more so I'm just adding it a little bit more of that dark brown powder and just making sure that it carves out just a little bit more to define my crease. I'm now using an eyeliner just to mark my waterline. It also makes the eyes look more dramatic. Winged liner is one of my favorites, guys. If you have seen me in day-to-day -day life, I'm always wearing winged eyeliner, the Gel Pop by Maybelline. And it's an awesome eyeliner. I love the color payoff. I love that it's dark. And I love that I can put it on top of eyeshadows and it's still bold and visible so you can see my eyes have become a lot more dramatic and pulled out which i love i love the look of that i 
I'm now concealing. I love concealer. Um, and basically what it does is it brightens your face and just gives you highlight in the right places. So as you can see, I've applied it underneath my eyes in a triangular pattern, on my chin and on the bridge of my nose. And then I'm blending. So with concealer, you always want to blend it out. Again, ladies, no harsh lines. So the look is coming together and I am going to set the concealer that I just put on with my mineralized skin finish. I'm also going to powder the rest of my face just to give it all the same flow, um, especially where I have the concealer and foundation on. I then go on to my mascara, one of my favorites, and this is the Maybelline Colossal Mascara. I saw this in Mother Ninjobba's Snapchat and ever since I've been loving this mascara. And then set my makeup with the Fix Plus and onto the lips. I'm using Max Cork with uh, Kat Von D's Lolita Liquid Lipstick. And it just gives me a neutral look. Onto the hair. I've had my hair in Bantu Knots all night. So I slept in the Bantu Knots and now I'm just using my, my favorite Marini Naturals Curl Me Pretty Curling Butter to just even out my edges and slick them back so they look very neat. I'm then gonna start taking down the Bantu knots with some coconut oil. I have some coconut oil in my hand. And the best way to do this um, is to make sure that you just slowly take down the Bantu knot and then finger detangle it, just to make sure that you get the beautiful pattern that you can see there. just combing the roots of my hair and this is just to give me more volume to I want to make sure my hair looks very puffy and big I want to go for the big afro looks um, and so this that helps me do this um, also I'm finger detangling the rest of the hair because I don't want to comb it out I don't want to comb out all the beautiful definition in my hair so I'm just finger detangling it and puffing it up as much as I can and then for my accessories I'm using this beautiful, wearing this beautiful fascinator and also just adding some beautiful gold earrings to it. Absolutely lovely look. On to the event. 